Hello submarine friends. It's a crappy, windy, rainy, cold, miserable day today, but it's okay for what we're doing. I want to demonstrate today how stable my submarine is after making the leg tube modifications. Originally the leg tube was too small and the submarine lacked volume. With the increased volume, I've been able to add a substantial amount of ballast weight which has created a lot of stability. Plus, I added trawl floats for buoyancy inside the main ballast tanks. That's really worked out well. You'll notice I've had to add a third ballast tank to the back. I think it's ugly, I don't like it, and it's only for testing purposes. It works fantastic, so what can I say? Anyways, I have three small solenoid valves in the back. They're all interconnected and I have a solenoid valve on each front tank. Those front tanks swing out of the way when it's completely vented. So let's dive this thing. So I just rigged up this little switchboard here. You'll notice that it's very, very slow. That's because those solenoid valves are temporary. They're just little guys that I borrowed and had laying around. When I finish the sub, it will have one large solenoid valve right behind the conning tower. All three tanks will vent into that one valve and it'll sink substantially faster. So you can see the back end is dropping now. Now I'll drop the front end. And I should add, once these tanks are completely vented, they completely swing out of the way of the view of the pilot. We're coming up on the dive cycle where it's the most vulnerable for lack of stability. And that is when the side ballast tanks are completely under the water. We're almost there. Okay, they're under the water now. I'm going to show you how stable it is. Now you'll notice it bobs around, that's okay, but it stays vertically oriented. And it does so rather well. I couldn't be happier. This is fantastic. So now we'll continue. As it sinks now, the stability will increase because the air volume inside the conning tower gives it more stability. Let some out of the front to level it. See that? It just bobs really gently now and it stays nicely vertically oriented. I'm going to let some slack off of the strap. I don't want it to completely submerge because I don't want it to hit the bottom of my pool and damage the tarp, causing a leak. This is just a tarp liner. So now the tanks are almost completely vented in the front, and they will actually swing right down to the chassis now. Just heard it go clunk, that's it landing on the chassis. So you can see we're almost there. The ballasting has to be shifted. Now I've got two 50 pound lead weights inside the submarine that I move back and forth. I did that in my last submarine, it works fantastic. I just manually slide them back and forth to orient the sub exactly where I want it. So far so good. The next step is I take it to Kootenai Lake and I'm going to do a 400 foot test dive with it, unmanned. I just sink it to the bottom. After one hour I pull on a string which releases air into the main ballast tanks and it surfaces and then I just tow it back to shore. So until then, ciao!